Hi, welcome back to our learning about game art creation technique. In these sessions, I would like to share with you about the idea how to combine both the bar map and normal map for creating a realistic relief effect that can react to the dynamic lighting. Through these simple demonstrations, you get to learn an alternate workflow for assembling a shading network with texture maps through the interface of HyperShade work area. To do this, I will walk you through a working sample which I have specifically prepared for you. The creation of this working sample was largely inspired by the AAA game title, Fight Night by EA. Through the game, you will get to see a lot of well-simulated muscular mesh, and certainly the game was using object-based normal mapping approach with complex animation system. However, we can achieve the similar relief effect with mere tangent-based normal map. And as usual, the workflow of our method is started out with a color map. For instance, I have handpicked a cute baby wear and extracted the portion of the muscular visual. With Adobe Photoshop, I have reworked the image into a color map, then followed by a bar map and a normal map. As a sample work, I use a simple polygonal plane and tweak it into the following form. Once you get the base mesh done, let's add a hyper shade into our viewport. Then create a new blend shader. In the hyper shade work area, you can adjust the placement of your node by using the left mouse button. To assign the shader onto the mesh, simply use the middle mouse to drag and drop. And don't forget to rename the blend shader. Next, we are going to focus on constructing the shading network and let's hit the spacebar for maximizing our work area. You can always resize your work area by zooming in and out with a scroll view of your mouse. Next, we are going to focus on creating a file node, and by shift select the placement node, you can move the entire file module to a more visible area. And let's repeat the steps again. We will need three file nodes for constructing our shading network. As a start, we are going to source for the location of our textures. Do you double click on the file node 1, simply click on the folder icon to include your color map. Then, repeat your actions again on the other file nodes for including the bar map and normal map. Next, we will need to create two more utility nodes of Bump 2D. With everything in place, we are going to link all the nodes in sequence. Let's start with the normal map. Simply middle mouse drag our file textures onto the utility node. In the attribute editor, Set a node to use tangent space normal map. Then, repeat the middle mouse drag and drop action again with the bar map. To combine both the bar map and normal map together, you will need to link the out normal properties to the bar mapping utilities nodes. With the connection editor being loaded up, you check with the show hidden function is being checked on for the right display. In the left display, Click on the property of out normal, then followed by the properties of normal camera. As for the final step, you will need to link the out normal property to the blend shader's normal camera property. And don't forget to link the color map directly onto the blend shader as well. Now, let's head back to our viewport to see the final result of our shading effect. Make sure your viewport rendering mode is being set to 2.0 and above before you turn on the texture display and hide the wireframe. 
Here is the final outlook of the shading effect that we have created just now. As I have said before, all bar mapping techniques have its limitation. To obtain an optimum result, this demonstrated method will only work best when the mapping's effect matches the right topology. I hope you will find this method to be useful and apply into your work. Thank you.